Hi Dr. Friends, I am Dr. Santosh Jha. Today's topic is carotid sith. It is most commonly asked question and most uh, important topic for your nearby exam. So without wasting of the time, let us start. First of all, what is the carotid sith? It is the part of deep cervical fascia and deep cervical fascia that means the super uh, below or underneath the superficial cervical fascia it is actually located at the lateral boundary of retropharyngeal space at level of oropharynx which is deep to sternocleidomastoid muscles i will show you the diagram of uh, such but a uh, start is with such in my image and it is from the base of a skull and to the first rib and the sternum that means it is the upper part border is base of the skull and lower most is the first rib and uh, if you see the contribution of the carotid sith is three facial contribution in this first investing fascia pretracheal fascia and pre vertebral fascia and in such topic the i will show the content first of all <coughs> in that i have made a uh, simple diagram to you for un understanding it is the cervical fascia like it is such a manner and if you cro uh, cross section it then you see like that okay friends in this diagram you have seen it is the carotid sith and under the carotid sith first of all uh, i have to show you the diagram it is actually left side so if you uh, it is bilaterally present and uh, of uh, left side so it will be of lateral side and it will be medial and it is anterior and it is posterior posterior <coughs> so what is this it is the internal jugular vein it is the internal jugular vein and it is common carotid artery if it is the below the level of bifurcation that means bifurcation of the common carotid artery at the level of c3 and c4 position where it bifurcate to becomes a internal carotid artery and external carotid artery it is external carotid artery and it is internal carotid artery and in the carotid sith content will be common carotid artery and 
internal carotid artery then after internal jugular vein vagus nerve and one thing is missing is deep deep cervical lymph node so you have to retain four thing first common carotid artery and internal carotid artery then internal jugular vein then after vagus nerve then after deep cervical lymph node content of the carotid sheath anatomy is a just a structure which you see in the actual then according to the structure in anterior structure there is ansa cervix calis and posterior to that is sympathetic trunk okay friends here i have retained bifurcation of common carotid artery at c3 and c4 here tubercle of the transverse process of c6 vertebra is also known as the carotid tubercle or cassegnic tubercle which are three times asked in the mspg so if you see the diagram of the carotid sheath the cross section at the neck level here you can see the carotid sheath so carotid sheath in that internal jugular vein is the lateral medial is common carotid artery or if uh, the cross section will be above the bifurcation then it will be internal carotid artery and posterior to that is vagus nerve and i have asked previously that uh, the contribution the contribution will be here the structure yellow line that means the investing fascia then after here the pretracheal fascia another one is prevertebral prevertebral fascia here pretracheal fascia sorry it is the prevertebral fascia here pretracheal fascia and it is the investing layer so contribution will be three type another one thing is that here some important thing i will be asked but uh, i will i am showing you image of such in the neck region the cross section if cross section will be at this level then here so common carotid artery if the cross section will be above that then the in the medial will be internal carotid artery then after here internal jugular vein and posterior part is vagus nerve okay and anterior here will be ansa 
cervicalis and posterior to that sympathetic trunk and one thing you have to remember that uh, the it is if you see here then according to diagram and uh, i have already so uh, said that here will be the base of a skull base of a skull so here the three nerve are present which one is you have to remember nine eleven and twelve okay friends thanks for watching my video have a nice day